Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we got Gunslinger Asgard Suicidal. And uh, today, I have remember, I don't know how to get out of this house. I did it! Uh, today, <clears throat> my parents had, um, they had like a, a Borkin, Borkin, <laughs> huh? Uh, a, a bacon, <laughs> uh, a bacon wrapped, like, pork thing. I don't know, it was some kind of, probably like bacon wrapped pork sirloin round thing, I don't know. I don't know what cut it was, dude. Um, it was a bad cut. <laughs> Whatever it was, it was garbage. Um, they liked it, you know, their, their tastes are a little bit less, uh, expensive than mine, which is, uh, you know, I'm not gonna knock it, I think it's, it's good when you can be pleased with something that, uh, is fairly simple. Um, not to say that I can't, I just, I mean, I ate it too, you know? It's not like I can't eat it, I just, uh, I guess what I'm saying is that for some reason a lot of people have this weird fixation with bacon. You know, you, you take something that's otherwise garbage, like if you took this, this, like, pork, like, I don't even know, like, it, whatever it was, it was tough, chewy, there was no fat, it was, it was just, like, a, the worst cut imaginable of, of pork, right? Like, it's garbage, basically, right? Like, it's, you, you, you gotta cook it the right way for it to actually taste at all good. Like, it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's trash, right? Not to say that you should throw it in the garbage, you should still eat it, you know, if you go kill a pig or something like that, like, you should eat all of it. But uh, of the pig, this is definitely <laughs> whatever it is. It, it's definitely a part that uh, that you don't necessarily get excited for. Um, and uh, oh, it was just so tough and, and chewy, and uh, it was overcooked as well, like dry. And uh, it, it's something that a lot of people, I think, would like because it's it's bacon wrapped, and people have this weird fixation with bacon. It's like you take something that would otherwise be just trash like just absolute garbage you put bacon on it and all of a sudden it's like a premium product and i'm like i don't get it <laughs> the bacon was all so bad like it wasn't even good bacon it was bad bacon wrapped around a bad pork thing and all of a sudden it's uh it's good and i'm like i don't i i still think it's just two bad things together you know like <laughs> it's still just not good but eh, whatever you know it's food I'd rather eat it than not eat it. It's better better to eat bad food than to throw it out just because it's bad. You know? I think I think that that's being mighty disrespectful. You're allowed to think it tastes bad, but uh, you gotta still eat it. That's that's all there is to it. It's just it's just a matter of respect. You know, it's like um. Oh my goodness. Um. God. Please. You all suck, okay? Hello? Did I not just reload the whole way? Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> anyway, what else have I been up to? Eh, not much, really. Not a whole lot, not an awful lot. I'm getting really bad at uploading these videos, though. It's starting to be a problem. Like a big problem. So I'm going to fix that today, I think. Get back into the habit of uploading them at the right times. Because it's just, it's been getting, like, progressively worse and worse with every day. <laughs> it just, it keeps on, like, the threshold that I accept just keeps on getting worse and worse. And I'm like, yeah, if this keeps up, it's going to it's gonna go to no man's land. And, and we don't want to be there, you know? We want to be in, uh, you know, yes man's land, right? How do we get out of here? This door. This is a really cool map. We don't play on it often enough. It's a hard map. Um, but it, it is a really cool map, I think. Um, it's too bad you don't actually get, like... Because if you were to be here, like, you'd be blinded, you know? Like, all this stuff would be, like, invisible, basically, because you can't see past the light. But with this, it's just, like, these are white pixels. You know what I mean? Like, doesn't it doesn't... You don't really get the effect of being blinded by the lights, you know? This way, it looks pretty pretty realistic like there's a there's a light source over here you know it's just that the light source is just white pixels 
which is uh, disappointing. I mean, not really, because it would really suck <laughs> if you're like turning the headlights on to get more visibility and they blind you. Like, that would suck. That would super suck, but uh, you know, it, it would be uh, it would be a nice thing if it uh, if it had that sort of like bloom. That so uh, that kind of blocks out your vision as you look towards it, you know. So we can we can cosplay as the, the deer in the headlights. Yo, speaking of deer, we got uh, we got some deer around here. Hello, not you, deer. And uh, it's been snowing lately, right? So they're they're kind of like in their down phase, right? Like all all wild animals, for the most part. Are, are pretty inactive during the winter because um, uh, especially if you live in a, in a colder climate um, they just they have to conserve their energy because they're gonna have a harder time finding food they have to burn more calories just to like live because they have to like turn on their heaters so to speak you know which is just like burn more calories <laughs> basically so then they have to kind of like you know take it a little bit easier and um, conserve whatever energy they have. So in, in the winter time, the uh, the animals are are, la are 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 a lot less active. They're not really like running around, jumping over stuff anymore. They're they're just kind of like standing there, staring at you. Just like if you approach, I'll move. But if you don't approach, I'm not really. I'm just kind of here, you know. Um, so. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of funny to watch though. It's you know it's like I wish I could do more to help them because like it's gotta suck not having like you know a place to go and and sleep and <laughs> no there's not gonna be snow on you when you wake up. But uh, they're wild animals. You can't really you can't really help them out. You know it's just nature doing its thing, right? Um, it'd be it'd be irresponsible of me to to take them on to to take on that kind of responsibility. Which is one that I shouldn't have. You know, I'm not. I'm not responsible for their livelihood. That's if they die, they die. That's just the way it goes. It's sad, but it's the way it goes, right? Um. Now that's bullet time. Can't save them. I mean, you could. You just shouldn't. Cause anyway, that's a whole other moral <clears throat> sort of topic, I suppose. Um. Anyway, I wish I could do more, but I can't really. So I, they just kind of stand out there staring at you. But uh, one of them, one of the, uh, one of the, one of the, uh, what's, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, one of the younger ones, this word, young. One of the younger ones was uh, taking up uh, a little home right outside of our, our front window. So that's where it would be sleeping every night while it was snowing, because we have, um, above that window is a bit of, like, an overhang. Because our, our, oh my god, my voice. Um, because, uh, the second floor kind of, like, extends out over top of the, uh, the first floor in that little area there. Uh, so it was, like, clear of snow, uh, there was, like, a nice little brush area there as well. Um, so it had, it had, like, a, a pretty decent uh, place to sleep you know um so we'd wake up every morning and uh it would just be sleeping right in front of our window you could just look out and see it it'd just be sleeping there and the funny part is is that uh the cat's bed is on the other side of that window so the um so the cat and the uh, and the deer would would kind of just like stand there staring at each other for for a little bit until they both were just like eh whatever <laughs> and end up going to sleep. It was uh, it was pretty funny. Now the now the snow is mostly let up, um, and uh, there's lots of green out, so they'll the deer will probably leave and go back to the uh, to the forest behind our house and and sleep over there again. But it's just the one of them. It might come out. I don't know. Maybe it's uh. Maybe it's, you know, wanting to, to sleep with the cat. Wanting to be near its friend. I don't know. It probably was just looking for a place to, to get out of the snow, though. Um, so, now that the snow's gone, it's probably going to leave. It could come back. You know, animals do end up uh, 
you know, and, and making, uh, I don't know if it's like friends so much, but um, sort of a, a connection on occasion. It can happen. But uh, it's not likely. The, the, the likely occurrence is just that uh, it was scared of us, but dis decided that the, <laughs> the grass and the green and the not snow was, uh, was better than, uh, than not having to deal with us. Being at the at the window, and so it's, uh, it probably won't come back until next year, or you know, might die. <laughs> but it uh, it was it was fun watching it while it was there. It's always fun watching the animals in the winter though, because they they really do just stand there, you know, they just stand or lie down somewhere. They, if if they're in the snow, they're they're not generally lying down, but. Um, They'll just stand there and just be. They won't. They'll. They'll be there for like an hour, two hours. They won't move. I'm. I'm being like it's completely sincere. If you guys don't live in an area that gets uh, like snow in the winters and you don't have like wild animals living around your house, um, like they will genuinely just stand there and until you approach them, they won't move. Once you approach them, they'll like book it mostly. But uh. Until you do, the, they, they mostly just decide that, like, you know, until you pose a threat, they're just like, I'm not moving. And then eventually they have to, like, eat or something, and they go graze a bit, and then they just stand there for a few hours, and the cycle just repeats. Until they uh, until they go to sleep and, and uh, repeat it until the, uh, the snow's gone. Or they'll, uh, you know, hibernate or whatever. That's, that's another option for, for some of the animals. We don't really have too many animals around here that hibernate, though. So, we, uh, we still get to see the animals in the winter. They just don't live very exciting lives. We do get uh, a fair bit of snow here. Not much, but uh, a fair bit. About a foot, maybe a foot and a half. It's, uh... It, it, we get snow. You know, we, we get... nobody Nobody's out there as being like, uh... You know, the amount of snow that we get isn't you know, real snow, like, no, we, we, we do actually have to, like, shovel stuff, and, like, you know, the, the, the snow does become a problem for us, and, and our, uh, and our, uh, like, government systems and stuff kind of reflect that, and, um, but we don't, we don't really have, like, the, the blizzards or stuff, we're not getting snowed in, you know, that kind of stuff doesn't really happen here, we don't really get, uh, super bad snow. Gets worse and worse every year, though, you know? If global warming's real, then why does it keep getting colder? Uh, the summers are also getting hotter? I don't know about that one, dude. This past summer actually wasn't that hot. Which surprised me. I was expecting another, like, record high. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, that's kind of what global warming's doing, right? Is, is we're going to be continuing to see lots of record highs every summer. Until we do something about it. Um, which is, uh, sad, but the life that we live in this world. This equipment isn't taking down a scrape, um, naturally to you, no? but it was actually, it was actually, it was a hot summer. I, I, you can go back and watch the videos. I complained a lot, <laughs> but I don't, I don't think we actually got up to like oh, above yeah. 30 even here. Which is, uh, you know, a lot of people are living summers with like 40, 45 or something like that. Like, you know, to, to the point where it's just like actually not safe to leave your house. <laughs> Crazy to me. Crazy, absolutely insane. I'm thankful we don't get that. A little bit of snow, a little bit of snow is better than that in my opinion. I was going to say nobody's at risk of death, but no, that's <laughs> totally just completely untrue. But I, I think that the, um... You know, I I think that we kind of get the best of both worlds. You know, we get we get some warm summers, but then we also get to, to enjoy the snow in the uh, in the uh, in the winters. I can't walk through there. Why can't I walk through there, but he can? It's not fair, dude. I'm going off a of sound here. Just sound. There he is. Um, and we get we get kind of the best of both worlds. It's, it's nice. 
definitely the uh, the highs are a little bit too high and the lows are a little bit too low. But the alternative is the highs are way too high and the lows are way too low. So you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I, th I think you kind of have a uh, you're kind of partial to whatever you grew up with, right? Like people who grew up in a hotter environment are probably like, nah, I'd rather just have a hot summer than having to deal with any snow. Like it's not that bad. You know, we just don't have to deal with snow. You still have to deal with a hot summer. We just don't get snow. You know, it's a little bit hotter, but oh well. And then people who are always get in snow are like, well, we don't really have to deal with the, the hot summers. And you know, you get some snow, but like, oh well, you just deal with it. It's not that big a deal. So you get a little bit more snow, you know. And then uh, people where I am are like, I don't really have to deal with too much of either of it. It's a pretty good life. People, other people, you know, it's just you, you end up getting a little bit uh, interested in whatever it is that you kind of live with. Or you really hate it. And you're interested in something that isn't what you have. It doesn't matter where you are, you know? You might just hate it or you might just love it. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.